Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And today we are going to continue playing the area right after the prologue. Duh. Yeah, because the prologue is about two hours long, depending if you watch all the cutscenes like I did, obviously. So, we're going to continue along that. You can now view the status of party members from the main menu. All of Roxas' ab abilities and money have been passed on to Sora, and Gemini's journal contains some hints of what to do next and past events. Alright, so first things first. Turn around and grab the boxes. I think there's two. Yeah. So, we'll grab these two. And we will be heading along our way. I don't think I had any more abilities. Oh yeah, I can give uh, one of them the champion belt, though. So, that's always nice. And we're gonna go ahead and continue along this way. I wonder where we are! I suppose I should have talked to them, but oops, oh well. You know, I think I've been to this town. What's the town? Hmm. Guess I must have imagined it. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Just wondering what was back here. Now you know. This is our spot. Um... What? You're new around here, right? I'm Pence. Hayner, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. My name's Alette. Hey, did you finish up the summer homework yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? Hey, what are your names? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goopy. Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round ears. Where'd you see him? At the station. The station, thanks. Well, we'd better get back to that assignment. Later. Trying to find us. Yeah, let's get to the station. Yeah, let's get to the station, but first let's save. Because I'm very save happy most of the time. Alright, so now we're going to go to the train station. Oh, yeah, we can talk to them. We have to do our homework. If you got time, why don't you get a job? Wow, okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't think anyone's hiring right now. So, what's the point? Okay. The guy looking for you is at the station. It's at the top of the station. Hi, she should go see what he wants. Uh, I, I don't know if I really need to talk to him, but I'm doing it anyway. If you want to know about this town, go to the sandlot. We're busy. I'm sure Cypher's bunch will accommodate you. Okay. Directing us to Cypher, huh? Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, can we go in there? No, not yet. They should have just closed it off. Yeah, you could, you could bash that thing up the hill if you want to. I don't think there's any reason to do it, but you can. Alright, cussing time!
All right, if I recall, this fight is based on one of two things to end it. A timer, uh, amount of enemies killed, which I, I actually don't know if that is the one. I think I'm just guessing. But, or the amount of damage you take. If you fall under, I think, half health, the fight ends. So I actually want to kill as many as I possibly can because this is great XP right here for the beginning of the game anyway. And you notice Donald's using magic, which is something I can't use yet. I will be able to soon, but not quite just yet. I want to be careful. I don't want to take too much damage. I'd rather let the timer run out, which I think is about a couple minutes or so. Because this is, like I said, this is a good place to earn some quick XP. See? Just bam, right there, like I said. Alright. I'm pretty sure this fight is almost over. Ooh, I blocked that. It's gonna end here soon. You probably notice that there's a crap ton of enemies, though. <laughs> Even if they're really weak ones, there's just a lot of them. Jeez, I thought it was gonna end sooner than that. I guess the timer's longer than I thought. Which I'm okay with. Ah, oh, there it is. Cutscene Keyblade OP. Board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. Your Majesty. Goodbye. The king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know he's okay. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Uh-huh. But we just saw him. Yep. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kairi's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? Yeah. Oh. Worse, Sora, they have to ask. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Your face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so King Mickey saved them because they got tired out. Which, I mean, I guess makes kind of sense. They did just wake up from a year-long nap, allegedly. Wait up! Huh? Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but... We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh... Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. Huh? Why that? They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. 
Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're kind of right. Kind of not. <laughs> I'm going to say, but first there are some crates, chests to get. This one. And this one. I know there's some other crates uh, over on Market Street, I think. The, the place with the train. Well, one of the places with the train. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because I think they're just like little, real simple stuff. So we'll just focus on this for now. I'm going to save. Okay. Save done. I talked to Donald when I'm ready to go, but I'll, eh, I'll talk to everyone real quick. Um, Sora, about the bag of yours. Uh, never mind. Yeah, there's a... Oh, come visit us again, all right? We'll be at the usual spot. Okay. I love how he's all the way down here. Like, hey, screw those guys. <laughs> the bag does have significance, but that comes up later, so. Sorry, also, Cold Before. Something's been bugging me. We may not see each other for a while. Take care of yourself, okay? Wow, that's ominous as shit. Hey, Pence, what do you got to say? That's weird. I feel like I should see you off for some reason. Like I have to say bye to someone I've been waiting to, waiting a long time to see. Eh... Uh... It's time for our adventure to begin. If there's something you still want to do here, now's your last chance. Yeah, that's right. But I'm done, so. This is going to be a long journey, so prepare yourself well. Yep, let's go. Okay, let's go. Bye. Hey, Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Huh? You okay? It, yeah. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Right. See ya. You know? I'm sad. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So... You think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... 
Diz wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. <laughs> there goes our ride. Yep. Welcome to the tower. I like how it still says it's Twilight Town. I think it's because that's how you get here still. Well, got on the train and came here like the king said. Something strange about the place. I wonder where we are. You know, uh, there's something about that dialogue that makes no sense. Uh, I can't remember which game it is, but Donald and Goofy have been here before the events of this game. If I recall. So they should know where this is. Someone's at the entrance of the building. Adventure rule number 17. Collect information. <laughs> okay, Goofy. What's going on? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside. To see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, well... That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well. Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. Cause uh, Maleficent's gonna help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that- She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? <laughs> You! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. Coy little bastard! <laughs> Heartless Squad, round up! Oh no, shadows. Whatever will we do? <laughs> yeah, the easiest heartless in the game, so. They only have one XP each. I get it, it's the beginning of the game, but we fought nobody's that are harder than these guys already. 
You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid's name backwards is Disney. Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. Bye, Pete. Go, 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 go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know why that's so amusing to me. Mithril shard. Ether. I think I think ether restores your magic, but we're not gonna use any magic yet. So yeah, so it's kind of useless at the moment, but yeah, it's okay. Onward yeah. to the top of the tower! Gonna have a few fights. Nothing too tough, I know that. Nothing in the beginning of the game is really tough that I can recall. There is one somewhat difficult part that comes up into the next world, I think, but... That's about all I can think of, really. The Beatle the Heartless! Yeah, you have to name back where this Disney always laugh at that. Whoop. There's not really much to say about these guys. They're really easy. They, they barely even attack you. They just kind of stumble around all over their faces. Blah! Yeah. I do find it weird that that was a cutscene. I don't I don't know why that was a cutscene. The arrows tell you which way you're going, so they're like the arrows on the doors, I mean. One's up, one's down. I don't remember, do we even fight any Oh yeah, yeah, we fight some uh, another different kind of heartless here in a second, I think. I think it might actually be in this room. Yeah, there they are. I forget what they're called, but... Yeah. And then we're already almost done. Alright, the boost. I'm definitely going to uh, equip that as soon as I get done with this fight. Having that early on... That, see, this is... Uh, that's not why I picked the defensive uh, thing at the start of the game. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? Alright, let's do this. I think there might be one. Yeah, it's just this one fight and then we go to the next cutscene, so. Ooh. And that's where the game will actually pick up a little bit more. The beginning of this game, which is like the first three hours, unfortunately, is really cutscene heavy and very little gameplay. But after this point, it's going to kind of turn around a little bit. There's going to be um, still a lot of cutscenes here and there, but there's going to be a lot more gameplay. Hey there. Sure, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, 
so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Yay! Reading. Ooh, chest! I, I really, really would love it if he just shoved his key into the keyhole one, on one of them. Just one of them in the game somewhere. He just jabs it in there. Which will you read? I don't really like reading this. Normally I wouldn't, but... Uh, in fact, it's kind of better if you don't because it is a little spoilery, surprisingly. So I'm actually going to opt not to. Uh, actually... Wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away, a spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence, for you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then. The being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. 
Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Normally, I would go ahead and end the episode here, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off this world since it's almost done. It'd be like three or four more minutes, I believe. Very short amount of time, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean six of us, there's nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is a little cool thing. Uh, I better grab that because I think it boots me out as soon as we're done. Examine it. it an image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. These these are all hints to the forms. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power flows into your mind. An image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. Oh, the clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. Your true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. Okay. An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. That's also the first form we're going to get, which is Valor form. They all pertain to a form in some way. Once you've changed, you're off. Yes, please. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. No, oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on! Are you certain? Blue! Ah! Oh, would you just decide? Oh! oh. Well... Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, 
those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! Now we have the Star Seeker Keyblade. It increases maximum combo by one when in midair. You can't do anything with this Keyblade except use it in Valor form for now until you get another Keyblade. So I wouldn't be able to equip it and replace my Keyblade. Which I don't know if I will or not. We'll see. Valor form. With Goofy's help, use the drive, use the drive command to change into Valor form. So you get rid of Goofy to go into Valor form, but Valor form is something I'll be using a lot uh, for the beginning of this playthrough. Because I want to level it up. Drive command has been added. The gauge on the lower uh, right is consumed for transformation. So you got three drives. It is powerful as it absorbs party members' strengths, but party members disappear while transformed, which is fine. So. Alright, so yeah, now we can turn into Valor form. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and do it because I want to show you something. Give me strength. First of all, two Keyblades. Goofy's gone. But, cutscenes also use your form pose. As you can see. Huh, Sora, I think you dropped something. Huh? It must have fallen out of your pocket. I love how it doesn't ever change position. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, huh? we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. You built the shirt! So does my pocket lint have something to do with my adventure too? That logic is... Anyway, hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across in your journey. I agree with that statement, considering what they give you. Oh, hi, Jiminy. Oh, hi, Jiminy. <laughs> I'll make sure to note them in my journal. Works for me. You have obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. I'm pretty sure this is unique to Final Mix, too. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. Yeah. You can view collected pieces in Jiminy's journals. With the puzzle pieces, what I intend to do is I'm going to pick them up as I see them, if if I can reach them. If I can't reach them, then I'm not going to worry about it. And then at the end game, when I have all abilities, I will go through and collect all the ones I haven't touched yet. So, there's that. I could either do that or completely ignore them until the end of the game. I'll figure that out once I get there, but if anybody wants me to do one or the other, feel free to let me know beforehand. But for now, I think I'll do one or the other. I'll decide when I find my first puzzle piece, if I'll pick it up or not. Hey! It's the gummy ship! So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, 
they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties, as do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How does that feel? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lutzen! We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. Maleficent! It's a world we know. Use left six fly the gummy ship for our project. Okay, whatever. All right, so Hollow Bastion. It's gonna be a lot different than the Kingdom Hearts One variant of Hollow Bastion, but we'll explore this in the next episode. This one's already drawn a lot longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to go ahead and finish it off the world of Twilight Town. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please like my channel or like my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.